righty, sir, you've just configured your CentOS server or your Fedora or Red Hat server. And uh, you've got a nice, fresh, minimal install. And let's test if we can get your server online. So we go ping a root server. And whoops, we have no connection. Why is this? Well, first thing we would think of doing is go and take a look at our interfaces. Yeah, we immediately see the only interface we have running is our loopback adapter. It's not going to help us to get out onto the net at all. So let's see what adapters are actually configured on this system. To do that, let's go and see our, we're on a cat command. And let's go and look at our path. So we'll go etc, sysconfig, network scripts. And we want to look at ifconfig. And I'm assuming the one we want to look at here is Ethernet 0. Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome. So now we can see we do have a device there. But it's set to not start up on boot. And the boot protocol is set to none. So it's not going to try and get a DHCP address. So let's try and start it up and get an address. To do this, let's first clear our screen. And let's type dh client we'll choose our interface ethernet zero start this thing up okay so let's try it ping Ah, awesome, we are now getting a response. So now we know that everything is actually functioning and we can access the web, we can access all our networks, everything we need to. But next time we restart the server, we can have no connection again. So what do we do to remedy this? Well, let's go and edit that interface. To do that, let's just change this to VI. Okay, yeah. now we're using a really awesome little integrated editor. You can see the here's the script set up here. So to edit the file, we'll press I. We can go and change the boot protocol. Let's make that DHCP. And on boot, we can make to yes. Okay, now we press the escape key and we press the colon. We press W to save, Q to quit, enter, and now that the file is saved. To double check, we'll run the cat command against it. There we go. TCP and on boot is yes. So now, whenever you reboot the server, it'll automatically start that interface and it'll try and obtain an address from DHCP. To double check, let's go and view our interfaces. And there we go, there's our Ethernet interface. And that's it, we're done.